Nadia, a city primary school student, Renee and Jazz, country high school students, have messages for their elected communal leaders. The mass media was talking false about us all the time. Yes, some Muslims are like this, but us Muslims, we're not terrorists. We don't behave like this. And we're focusing on anti-discrimination against disabilities. A bit nervous that we're um, one of the two country schools. They are competing against 12 schools to have their proposals presented at Parliament House. Why are we promoting to our children a cruel culture. Give Islam a fair go, mate. No human being deserves to be discriminated against, no matter who they are or what they believe in. Yeah. Their peers consider each proposal. So what if you can say hello? You need to have, you need to know that the bigger picture, like helping them. Using a traffic light system, they rate ideas they hear. You're forced to learn it. It's not like it's a nice gesture or anything. You're just learning words because you're being forced to do it. And it's not even that helpful. Using a form of preferential voting, students voted for up to six of the 12 proposals, but only three were presented to members of parliament. People equally and with respect, 71 votes is in. We're all here for the exact same reason. We believe that our society can be better. And it shouldn't matter, one, where you're born, two, what you believe, or three, how rich you are. Was it an experience of being heard or a frustration? I really think we deserved to get in, but we didn't, so it's a bit disappointing. When we were doing the cards, everyone put green, f green for us. There was like, there was no yellows or reds. Yeah, we won. Can we do it next year, sir? Yeah, can we go next year? Yeah, we can do it next yeah, year. We're doing it. Watch out, everyone, we're coming for you next year. That's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs>